guys are not going to believe the shocking transformation of Bosisiwe in Kwebani. Believe me, this lady is making so many rounds all over South Africa and it's been normal that we get to talk about her. Believe me, her life has been from disgrace to distinction. So stick right there and of course do not forget to actually subscribe and do turn on the bell notification button so you can be the first to get notified when next we drop a new clip. Well like we earlier said, in this particular video, we are going to be diving into the fascinating story of Bosisiwe in Kwebane, who happens to be the former public protector who has actually turned into the EFF member of parliament. Well, she has recently been awarded the distinctive title of Count of the Year 2023. This title recognizes individuals whose actions have had a significant impact on the society, even if they haven't quite reached the level of villain of the year. Well, that's exactly what we will be talking about in this video. So, Bosisiwe Nkwebane's career has been anything but ordinary. Starting as an analyst for the State Security Agency, she quickly became a central figure in the state capture narrative. Her tenure as public protector was marked by numerous scandals and legal battles. While in the year 2022, she was named Villian of the Year for her mismanagement of government funds. Despite this, she made a surprising transition to the EFF, a move that shocked many South Africans. Given EFF leader Julius Malema's previous criticisms of her, people are even shocked why exactly Malema accepted her in. Well, Nkebane's transition from an impeached official to an EFF member was marked by symbolic gestures like trading her high-end Valentino Rockstood sandals for a domestic worker's uniform. This move was meant to align with the EFF's populist image. Throughout her impeachment, of course, Inkwebane, with the support of her lawyer Darlene Pofu, held unconventional press briefings, portraying herself as a victim and a champion for the disadvantaged. However, her advocacy notably excluded the farmers affected by the controversial Estina Diary project a scandal tainted by corruption allegations. While in the year 2023, Nkwebane once again found herself in the headlines. This time, she revealed WhatsApp messages and voice recordings implicating former cabinet minister Tina Joy Matt Peterson. These revelations led to a dramatic turn of events with Joy Matt Peterson dying under mysterious circumstances shortly after the disclosures. Despite these setbacks, Inquebane's resilience has kept her in the political spotlight. So like you all can see, she has been nothing but hardworking. Believe me, she is actually an example that many people out there should actually follow. Well, as South Africa gears up for the 2024 elections, Inquebane is poised to play a significant role in the campaign. Her journey from being a named villain of the year to current of the year is a testament to her enduring influence in South African politics. Her actions continue to resonate through society, impacting institutions and individuals alike. But at the end of the day, we are so proud of her and we are so happy for how far she has come. What do you think about Busisiwe Nkwebane's transformation? Do you believe she deserves the title of Cant of the Year? Let us know just down in the comment section. I don't know, but this is something that's making so many rounds. So please do all to drop your thoughts about anything you might have to share or contribute just down in the comment section. So in conclusion, whether you see Busisiwe Nkwebane as a divisive figure or a political enigma, there is no denying that her journey in 2023 has been remarkable. Her actions have left a lasting impact on South African society, earning her the title of Count of the Year. Well, thank you for stopping by and God bless you.